In the previous episode, we learned how to begin arranging our imported videos on the storyboard to mimic our script. Now it's time to massage the video clips into their final order, cutting everything but the best footage. While doing so, it's important to understand there may not be a right answer for why we keep one piece of footage over the other. At this point in the editing process, choosing which video clips to keep comes down to context, comfort level, or visual appeal. You may have captured a great shot of some kids playing that's framed up perfectly, but if it doesn't fit the context of your video, get rid of it. It will only be distracting. The comfort level of the person delivering their lines is pretty obvious. Sometimes the camera will love you, and sometimes it won't. And finally, the visual appeal of a particular clip. If you are having trouble deciding between two videos, go with the one that catches your eye. These are not black and white issues like framing up the shot. This is where you get to exercise your creative freedom as an editor, so have some fun. Let's begin with the three intro videos by clicking play in the lower left corner of the preview window, or by hitting the space bar on your keyboard. Hi, I'm Maggie Giovanni, Director of Operations at Cabrini Green Legal Aid, and we're here in our soon-to-be former office because today is moving day. Preview the next one. I'm Maggie Devaney, Director of Operations at CGLA, and we're here in our soon-to-be former office because today is moving day. And one more. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maggie Devaney, Director of Operations here at CGLA, and we are here today at our soon-to-be former office because today is moving day. The delivery on each is nearly identical, which means it comes down to context. We like the clip where she's wearing a hoodie because it fits the context of the moving day video, so we'll delete the other two. There will be times when nicer attire is more appropriate, but for the current context, we'll use the more casual attire. Right click and delete each one or press the delete key. When deleting a video from the storyboard, it remains in your collection should you choose to use it later, so don't worry, it's not gone forever. The introduction clip will transition into a voiceover using the footage of the old office so that when she mentions our soon-to-be former office, the viewer will actually see the old office. This is exactly why we film B-roll, so that it can be used with a voiceover and show the viewer what is being discussed. Next on the plate is our moving overview. Instead of showing the outside of the old office, and then immediately cutting to the moving overview, let's use some B-roll to help transition from outside to inside. Again, this is why B-roll is such a powerful tool. We can take a video of something as simple as a box being taped and use it as a transition from one clip to the other, which helps build visual appeal and adds context. So let's bring these box taping clips in between the two to create that transition. By grabbing and dragging, you can easily rearrange video clips on the storyboard. So we're moving and we are very excited, although getting there is a little bit hectic today. Uh, we'll be at the new space starting on Monday, and it's going to dramatically change the way we serve clients, the client experience. Um, we can't wait. So come visit us soon. This clip is great because it begins to show the face of your organization and provides further details about the move in general. Let's continue to expand the face of your organization by moving one of these testimonies to follow it immediately. And we'll figure out what to do with these B-roll clips later. We have two testimonies to choose from, so let's review them both and pick one to keep. As a beginner, it can be very difficult deleting footage, especially personal testimonies. But remember, your video needs to be between two and three minutes, so you must keep only the best of the best. Okay, Jashan, so what are you most excited about, about the new office? Well, I am definitely excited about my new office space. As you can see here, I have about one, two, three steps, and then that's it. Over there, I have a utopia of space to use, and I'm so happy about that. So thank you for asking. And the next one? Okay, so Dee, what are you most excited about about the new office? The space, because we're on top of one another and we really need new new space uh, so everyone can be comfortable, so the clients can feel like, wow, this is very nice, but they still give their homey feeling, they welcome. 
The first one did a much better job articulating how the move will impact her on a daily basis. So we'll delete this one and move the other directly after the moving overview. Going back and looking at the B-roll of taping up boxes, the first box taping is perfect for a quick transition. And since this one doesn't really add anything, we'll go ahead and delete it. Right click and delete. Now the personal testimony will lead directly into B-roll of the movers loading the truck and an outside view of the new office before our video closes with a thank you barrage. Our web video is coming together quite nicely. When we step back for a moment, now we can see how our B-roll is creating nice transitions between the key points. Without the B-roll, it's much more difficult to tell a visually compelling story. So, let's start tweaking the thank yous, starting with the longer ones. Press the space bar to play the executive director's thank you. The end of our phenomenal moving day. Um, we've seen God's hand throughout the process, and we want to thank everyone for your role making it happen. This clip is great and a perfect way to begin the thank you barrage. Let's preview the next long thank you. Thank you for everyone that made this move possible. Um, you are so, 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 so special to all of us here at CGLA. Without you all, this would not work. Um, we appreciate you all. In this footage, what she says is fantastic, but the background is pretty boring. Therefore, we can convert this video into a voiceover, which will just use the sound from the footage, and we'll play it during the B-roll of the movers in the new office. We'll cover this technique in the next episode, so for now, we'll just move it. And now, the last long thank you of the bunch. Thank you to everyone who's made this building a possibility. The space is amazing, and it's really going to serve the clients well, and the staff is going to love it. This one is good, but we already have a better long thank you performed by the executive director. So let's move it to the very end, because we are either going to close with it due to its length, or not use it at all. We'll make the decision later when we see how the thank you sequence starts to come together. Now that we have picked the long thank you to begin with, let's put some of the shorter thank yous right after it to begin the barrage. Since we have them sorted by lengths, we're going to scroll to the end and grab a short one, and move it right behind our long clip. Let's grab another short clip, and since its background is green, we'll put it in between these two yellow ones to break up the background colors. And the last short thank you? We'll add it to the mix as well. Now that we've alternated colors to keep things visually interesting, let's also mix genders as well. To be clear, what we have is not right or wrong, but since we've got three females in a row, we'll just add a male to mix things up. We have two to choose from. This one. Thank you for helping us turn the page on the next chapter of CGLA. And this one. Thank you for the professional state-of-the-art facility. Even though they both sound a bit scripted, the first one's background works better with our thank you sequence. So I'll bump it up one spot and delete the other one, because it's no longer needed. I know it's hard, but deleting perfectly good footage is part of the process. You've got to remember that your footage is always more interesting to you than it is to others. That's why it's so important to cut it down to two or three minutes. We'll leave the longer thank you at the end, because it wraps things up nicely. And we're finally finished. As you can see, in editing your footage, you may end up moving the videos around from their original location. That's very natural and all part of the editing process. Scripting helps give you an idea of what the video will look like and what clips need to be filmed. But editing is where you start massaging the footage you've captured into a cohesive web video. Sometimes it fits together just as you planned, and other times it ends up morphing into something a bit unanticipated. Now, unless you want to do this all over again, Save your project. It doesn't matter what program you're using, they all crash. So be diligent and hit keyboard shortcut control S. To save it from time to time. In the next video, we'll learn how to create voiceovers and really begin pulling our web video together.